Donny London, hello. October the 11th, my video is all about recovery from addiction to either substance or behaviour. My addictive substance, alcohol, so I'm a recovering alcoholic one day at a time, living in a one day programme, which has been going on for some years, sort of joining it all together. But equally addicted to people, places, things, work, relationships, trying to be perfect at, at extremes of behaviour rather than finding balance on a daily basis, which, which, which is what I see today. So what helps me stay in recovery from addiction to either substance or behaviour is the Fellowship of AA, Alcoholics Anonymous. I never speak for it, cannot, do not, never want to. It's full of unique, authentic people who can speak for themselves where they will and where they choose. I share here, though, from this book, Daily Reflections, all about recovery, the 12 steps of AA, 12 steps of action for, for an individual and not the rest of the world. And October is all about step 10, taking personal inventory and working out what is right, well, not so much what is right, but what is okay to find balance and make better choices. So for October 11th, it talks about self-restraint. Our first objective will be the development of self-restraint. My drive to work provides me with an opportunity for self-examination as well as driving. One day while making this trip, I began to review my progress in sobriety and was not happy with what I saw. I hoped that, as the work day progressed, I would forget these trouble, troublesome thoughts but as one disappointment after another kept coming, my discontent only increased, and the pressures within me kept on mounting. I retreated to an isolated table in the lounge, and asked myself how could I make the most of the rest of the day. In the past, when things went wrong, I instinctively wanted to fight back a reaction. But during the short time I had been trying to live the AA program, I had learned to step back and take a look at myself. I recognised that although I was not the person I wanted to be, I had learned not to react in my old ways. Those old patterns of behaviour only brought sorrow and hurt to me and to others. I returned to my workstation, determined to make the day a productive one, thanking God for the chance to make progress that day. And for me, it's either God or good conscience that is what I come to understand and what you come to understand, which might be quite different and that's all right, but it's to God a good conscience that we say to ourselves, let's stop reacting and let's find a better response. It's our choice and how we respond to life. And when life is feeling quite hurtful, the feelings are in us, not the rest of the world. So it's what we may do about it, not the reaction of the old way, anger, resentment and selfishness. We take on a self less attitude of what is possible and not possible. Reality, the truth of now. At the end of these videos I will share the serenity prayer which is to God or good conscience as you come to understand, working for you. So to God or good conscience, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference for me is just for today.